Okay, so this is the last homework of the semester, homework 5. Uh, and there will be two videos because there are two different uh, data exercises in this homework. So the first one is about panel data. Uh, and the other is about binary dependent variable uh, data. So uh, in this video, I will go over panel data uh, exercise. And in the next one, you are going to do uh, the binary variable model. Uh, by the way, and as before, I'm not going to, uh, I will not repeat what I have done like in the previous ones, like the basic things like such as how to install packages, how to set working directory, how to load library, how to, uh, how to load like an Excel file or how to regress. Uh, so it will be, it will be helpful if you, uh, if you have your previous R codes, uh, and copy those basic codes from there, right? And, and modify them when needed. Okay. Okay. So let me begin. The, the question in this, in this homework is an interesting problem. Like the basic question is about, uh, democracy. So, uh, democracy index, democracy kind of score is published by some institution, right? It's about like, you know, political democracy. And we would like to study the relationship between the democracy and, uh, economic development. So in part A, we are going to just regress democracy on uh, log of GDP per capita, right? It'll be pretty simple. And then, uh, I think there is an omitted variable that is education, right? The more educated, then, uh, the more educated the people are, and then I guess they would require, uh, they will, they will require like more democratic, uh, political system, like, I guess, right? So to see, to see that we additionally include education, right? Uh, you think, uh, you think about what happens if it's not like it, if you don't include education, that will cause an omitted variable bias. So you explain that. And then up to here, part A and B, I do not think about the panel data structure. I actually, our data was a panel data because it includes, so let's go back to data. Our data includes a, a lot of countries, like, uh, you know, a lot of countries are included in the data. So a total of 195 countries are included and they are observed over nine time periods every five years from uh, 1960 through 2000. So a total nine uh, observations for each country and most, right? But, okay, so, but the, as you see, like some, for some reason, I don't know why, like uh, there are missing variables, missing values. So like Andorra was not observed here and suddenly is observed in 70, but then not observed for many years and then come again, something like that. I don't know why this kind of thing happens, but, uh, this is pretty common. And another problem here is GDP is totally not observed. It's never observed for this country. So that would be a problem. Afghanistan, you never observe GDP over like, uh, over like 40 years. Okay. So that's basically what we have. Uh, and like the key variables we are going to think about is these three. Y is democracy index. X1, the first regressor is logo of GDP per capita. The second regressor is average education uh, for in the country and 195 every five years. And as you just saw, there are many uh, missing variables, missing values. So we call them unbalanced panel. Some countries have say nine observations like because if they are all observed, 
but other countries have zero observation. But some countries have one or two, or like, you know. So depending on like other situations, I don't know why, but missing happens. And uh, there is nothing we can do about this missing, right? But in the end, in the end, missing values will be automatically taken care uh, by the software. So you don't need to worry about them. Or like they don't recognize it as zero or here. It's just empty. Empty places are recognized as empty by the software. So that is not a problem, but uh, uh, excuse me. But of course, uh, if something happens in some spe special cases, being unbalanced panel, having an unbalanced panel may cause some problem. Like depending on which method you are using, uh, it may be kind of in inconvenient or some kind of uh, uh, data, uh, the results may be uh, uh, misleading, things like that. But in general, not a big problem. Okay. Okay, let me briefly review what we are going to do. We are going to use three different regressions. First one is like a pooled, we call this pooled regression. Basically, that means we are not going to care about the panel data structure. So ignore the panel data structure and just regress. Just just do regression. That is called pooled regression. So you pull all the countries as if they are the same country, something like that, or pull all the years as if they are from the same year. Then this is the, the you know, the standard basic uh, regression equation. And a variation of that is country fixed effects. You may want to include country fixed effects alpha like this. Or to extend it even further, you can include two-way fixed effects. Include like a country dimension fixed effects and time dimension, year dimension fixed effects. Okay. Remember, the country fixed effects is to capture uh, the unobserved constant factors in that country. So in a, in a specific country, uh, their cultures or a lot of things may be different from the others. Uh, and if you can assume that those factors are constant, does not change over time, then uh, this fixed effect will automatically take care of that, right? So it is kind of intercept specific to that country. Okay, similar, same thing here. So those two or the, the country fixed effects will take care of the time constant, but country specific uh, effects. On the other hand, two way fixed effect, in two way fixed effects, there's another fixed effect that only depend on T, which is year in here. So this is year specific dummy variable that captures a year specific effects. Like in a certain year, there was a kind of shock that was common like to all countries, right? So so uh, then it is literally, it is common to all countries, but depends only on uh, the time. It's only in this year. So, the, so because the panel data have two dimensions, two indexes, we include, we can include uh, two different fixed effects like this. So we are going to try all the three uh, regressions in the with the data okay and here then the library we are we need a new library for panel data analysis so the name of the library is PLM which means panel live linear model panel data linear model is a uh, is the package you need you need to use so uh, you have to use these two lines before you use the the following commands, okay? You have to install package first and then load the library like this. By the way, like it's always annoying. Install packages and here you have to use quotation marks, but not here, right? Okay, so after you, so from here at this point, I assume that you uh, load the Excel file, the data, and then you install and load this package, PLM package. Okay, then uh, finish that first. And let me explain the syntax. So 
start from the review of the ordinary, the, the, the standard regression syntax. We, so assuming that you loaded the data to the, uh, to HW5, homework 5, say HW5 is your, uh, homework, like a data name, you loaded Excel file to HW5. And if you wanted to regress Y on X1 and X2, then you are going to do this. So uh, LM, linear model, and put the regression relationship and data set, and then save that uh, to this name, okay? But of course, in your, like, uh, in your case, your name, your data name may be different if you wanted to use uh, another name. And also, of course, the variable name is not just Y. Uh, you, you are going to use, like, say, uh, demographic index, like, you know, find the variable name and use that variable name here instead of x1, x2, okay? Okay, that was just uh, standard regression. But when you want to use fixed effects regression in panel data, panel data fixed effects uses PLM command, panel data linear model. The syntax is pretty much the same up to here, but the problem is you have to tell the program about the structure. So you have to specify the structure like this. So C is a column vector. It's a, you bundle two, uh, two elements as a column vector. So it's, it's not an important thing. And you, know, you have to enter, you have to let the computer know what is the you know, the two dimensions of the panel data. In our data, it's yearly data, country level data. So you have to tell that it is country and year. Then automatically, computer will understand what is I and what is T, right? So depending on which data you use, like it could be different. Like for example, in our textbook example, we consider like state, uh, state level data then this part will be some state identifier variable. You could use like individual level, form level, county level, you know, different uh, variable name depending on the data. Or of course, the time uh, could be different, like not just year, but it could be like day, month, quarter, you know. So it's a, uh, so you have to specify which variable contains those informations, time information and uh, uh, individual information. You need information. And the two-way fixed effects, also the same, no difference, but uh, you only add two ways, right? So the default is, the default panel data linear model uh, estimation method is fixed effects, but uh, two-way fixed effects uh, will you need to, 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 do, to implement two-way fixed effects, you have to include this option. Effect two ways, okay? Then I believe it should be uh, easy, like let me briefly show you my code. This is what I did, like, so I copied up, up to this point, I pretty much just copied from the, the previous homework, right? So there is nothing new just copy and you have to change like the name of folder and the name of the data and the name of the file right so change that much and these two lines are just basic regression so should be simple enough just change the variable names from the previous um previous code and then from here, I use panel data structure. So install pack package and then library. And then I uh, do fixed effects and two-way fixed effects. So in total, I have four regression results saved under these names. And you have to use summary command to read uh, those results. Then uh, it should be given like this, like, you know, this is the estimation results, right? Command coefficients are based on things, okay? Okay. 
and then based on the results uh, or in the homework I will I, I told you to do something say something about how to interpret those things like blah 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 uh, and you need to include this kind of table like what I expect is like this kind of table basically there are only two reg two regressors so include those two regressors and so you're going to include estimated coefficient it should be the number or number and in parentheses you have to include 10 dot error right so uh, you, because we have done four different regressions you are going to make four columns of results and fixed effects so uh, like remember we have 195 fixed effects so if you wanted to include a fixed effect estimation results you have to include 195 rows of course that is not possible and that's not that's not the main uh, uh, interest in this analysis so this would be usually enough just say you have control for country fixed effects so you allowed uh, time constant constant differences across countries right similarly if you use two-way fixed effects just make another row and just say yes here just say indicate that you have controlled for year fixed effect that means on uh, like the year specific shock that is common to all the countries and after doing all these I, I recommend you do this so put one star if the p-value is less than 10% and two stars less than 5% and three stars less than 1% so just conventional uh, standard right and a few more comments uh, r square first r squares are not uh, exactly comparable in the panel data like between the panel data model to the the ordinary uh, regression model because the R squares calculated from the fixed effects model is does not include the variation explained by the fixed effects right so there should be additional option or additional command you can calculate recalculate the R square to to include how much how much fixed effects can explain the variation but the default is not so the default result is not comparable to the standard regression results so in general fixed effects takes a huge huge part of the explanation right so it explains a lot uh, as a result like it may look like after including fixed effects the other variables may not uh, be as explain it uh, does not have as uh, does not have the same explanation power as before but uh, still uh, that means fixed effects are important and second uh, we have we learned log transformation so remember the key idea was log of x is a percentage change in x right so when you take log you may approximate approximately log captures percentage change for example like if x increases by 10% that means uh, that approximately log of x would increase by 0.1 because it is 10% in another word like if log of x increases by one that means x itself uh, increases by 100 percent so one is 100 percent that means the original x would double right so uh, remember these uh, transformation and you are going to use this for to to interpret the effect of log of gdp per capita on demo democracy Okay, so in the next video, I'm going to uh, show you how to do the binary model. Okay, see you there. Bye.